Welcome to the homework for lesson 16. This is grade 3, module 2. Don't forget to write your name first. And we're finding some sums. We're just doing some addition here. Now most of these are uh, easy to do mentally. When you get into the three digit numbers, they might be easier to do with a standard algorithm. 47 plus the 8. It's easy to think of this 8 as a 3 because we look see that 7 and that's a 5. So it's really 50 plus 5. And that's all you need to show for your mental process there. This 38 here is pretty close to 40. So let's think of this 47 as a 2 and a 45. And it's, so it's going to be 45 plus 40 is 85 and that's meters we have the 147 and the 383 so I'm just going to use we have a 10 here 8 and 4 is 12 one more is 13 and then we have a three and two ones, and that's 530 meters. Make sure that's readable here. 63 plus 9. So this is going to be easier to think of this as a 62. And that's going to make a 10 right there. So we've really got 62 plus 10, and that's really easy to do mentally. So that's... 72 milliliters and this 79 here is almost 80 so if I just take one like that and then I have 462 plus 80 I can do this I can even do that mentally you get 542 milliliters and these two, 463 plus 179. And if this getting from 462, adding that 80 isn't uh, as easy as it, I made it look, then you could do that with the uh, standard algorithm. 9 and 3, 12. And that's 13 and one more, 14. And that's a 6. And these are milliliters. And we have 380, 368. Let me erase that because I want to give myself a little more room to work with. 368 and 263. We're adding these. That's 11. And we add our tens together. That's 13 tens. And then that's six hundreds, and these are kilograms. Five hundred eight, and you could you could actually do this is a good one for doing it mentally because this is almost three hundred. <clears throat> two ninety three. This is eleven, and there's a ten right here, nine and one, and that's eight, eight hundred one kilograms and now this one uh, this is also a good candidate for doing it mentally even though it's three digits because this is almost a hundred so you could think of this and this is almost 800 so it might be easier to do it this way think of this as 102 and one more and then we just have that that makes 800 so we have 800 plus 102 equals 902 this is kilograms and let's see we have now we have some ones with mixed units we have liters and milliliters so got to keep track of our units here I'm going to circle the liters so we have four we can add liters to liters but we add milliliters to milliliters four liters and 342 milliliters so we're going to add the four 
and the 2. And then we're also going to add the 342 to the 214. All right, so the 4 and the 2, that's 6 liters. And then the milliliters add up to, that's 6. 4 and 1 is 5, and that's a 5. So our total is 6 liters and 556 milliliters. And now here we have another example of mixed units. We have kilograms, 3 kg. And, the other, and our other add-in has 5 kilograms. We're going to add those kilograms together. And then we're going to add the grams together. So this is 296 plus 320. Six, and these are grams. Three and five is eight kilograms. And then we have six and six, that's 12. And then that 10 and two, that's another 12. And that's 622 grams. Page two. Mrs. Haley roasts a turkey for 55 minutes. She checks it and decides to roast it for an additional 46 minutes. Use a tape diagram to find the total minutes Mrs. Haley roasts the turkey. Kind of coincidental, but I am roasting a turkey right now. Uh, she roasts a turkey for 55 minutes. So there's the first 55 minutes. And then this is the additional. So R for roasts and A for additional, maybe. This is additional 46 minutes. You can't write M because that would be meters. So M I N. And uh, uh, we're going to find out what those two are put together. So the total number of minutes. Now these. Two-digit problems, you can probably do this mentally. I'm going to use the algorithm. 5 and 6, that's 11. And 5 and 4 is 9, and 1 more is 10. And that's minutes. And our answer statement. Misses. Haley roasts the turkey a total of it's kind of a long sentence one hundred one minutes. Number three, a miniature horse weighs 200, no, let's see. Uh, okay, it was only two, it said we had to use a tape diagram. Number three, a miniature horse weighs 268 fewer kilograms than a Shetland pony. Use the table to find the weight of a Shetland pony. Okay, so a miniature horse, that's the miniature horse right there. Uh, a miniature horse weighs fewer kilograms than a Shetland pony. So a Shetland pony, if the Shetland, if the horse weighs, the miniature horse weighs less, the Shetland pony has to weigh more. So here's the Shetland pony. S. And the miniature horse weighs less. But we... M. <clears throat> now, a miniature horse weighs how? Now, how much less does it weigh? Well, if the Shetland, if the miniature horse is less, the Shetland pony is more. So this would be the more, right? And that's the less. So how much is the more? Um, and it says the more and the less are the same, right? 
So if it's this much less, it's that much more. Uh, how much is the more? It's two, it's, so it's the fewer, right? Because that's the less, so it could just as well be the more. 268 kg. And we know how much the miniature horse weighs, that's 56. 56 kilograms. So this 56 has to be the same as that. So here's the Shetland pony. It's these two put together. So we have to figure out 268 plus the 56. 8 and 6, 14. And 6 and 5, that's 11. And one more is 12. And that's 324 kilograms. The Shetland... Pony weighs three hundred twenty four kilograms. A Clydesdale horse weigh no, no number four. A Clydesdale horse weighs as much as a Shetland pony and an American saddlebred horse combined. How much does a Clydesdale horse weigh? Well, we the Shetland pony we just figured out. So combined means we're going to put them together. That's the Shetland pony. And this is the American saddlebred. A, we'll call that AS. And that's going to be the same. When you put those two together, it's going to be the same as the Clydesdale C. So we know how much the Shetland pony weighs because we just figured that out. 324 kilograms. And the American saddlebred is, that's up here in the chart, 478. So now we can see that we have to add those two together. 24, 478, and that's 12, that's 10. And that's 802. The Clydesdale horse weighs 802 kilograms.